an important thing to have a think about here is that you know social media is not just for the marketers. It's something that everybody in your company is using, and in many respects, consider it to be a vibrant customer service tool. You know, you wouldn't take your phone or email away from your staff, so why take social media away from them? Finally, training. And there are just three things that you need to put on your checklist here for training with regards to social media. Obviously, and today is mostly about training uh, your marketing folk about what you can do and how you do it and what are some of the great ways you do it. So if your marketing folk are not, and are not up to speed with these tools, spend more time with your agencies. Find somebody to come in-house and give you some coaching and to give you some help. If you do not come up to speed with these tools now, you're going to be left behind and be a dinosaur. And I guess for some of uh, us older, older folk, uh, marketing directors and CMOs, that might mean actually going to your ABMs and asking them to help you, because they probably know more about this topic than you do. In fact, I'm pretty sure they do. Um, secondly, obviously, I've talked about crisis and issues, so getting some training in that specifically. You should have crisis and issues training anyway, but as you develop your social media um, crisis plan, make sure you get the training, uh, particularly amongst the people who are going to be your spokespeople. Uh, and finally, just general training to all of your employees. Once you've put in place your social media guidelines and policies, make sure that people know how to use it. Is it part of your onboarding process with new employees? Um, have a think about what you can do to make sure that, you know, once you set in place your guidelines, you're giving people the tools and help they need to, uh, to work appropriately.